Yo, and welcome to another Company of Heroes 2 game. This time around we have none other than pure section spam. Of course also known as Marcel playing as the austere here on Emily Fields. Facing off versus Marcel we have none other than PFC playing as the Soviet faction. As they are chatting away here in chat, let's take a look at the capping orders here. We see some uh, heavy munitions focus here. Also, you know, slow capping the combat engineer with the or the, the fuel with the combat engineer. Meanwhile, uh, Marcel here with quite an uh, aggressive machine gun. I feel like third conscript is now out, and we also have a doctrine choice here: armored assault tactics. Kind of made uh, quite popular re re recently because of. Uh, the uh, the latest tournament winner uh, used this doctrine quite a lot, uh, both in the qualifiers as well as in the actual finals. Here we have the double conscripts here charging on, on the grenadiers and taking quite heavy losses while doing so. Uh, Marcel retreating before, uh, before the engagement is evened out. We have the MG regrouping as well, probably to try to save the cutoff here from being taken. Making sure that cannot be done. So very nice there. Also a sandbag up on the center it looks like. MG not following up any further. I do like this uh, sandbag. It kind of eliminates some part of this sandbag. Makes it like a super heavy unflankable uh, position there. Combat engineers are standing by. Hmm. Does not want to finish that sandbag before uh, Our territory is taking too much damage. And the pioneer, speaking of damage, about to go down here I think if the conscripts... Yep, there you go. So that's the first guy wipe of the game so far. Minus one uh, pioneer there for uh, Marcel. MG42 was in position to try to save the, the retreat path, but it was quite frankly too late. We also have uh, the flamethrower pop here from PFC. And now up at uh, four conscripts. Doing some quite heavy damage to this grenadier here. Forcing him away, very nice. MG protecting so that PFC can't make a fuel trade here. Meanwhile, Grenadiers are of course capturing the fuel fuel here, so about to become double fuel actually, unless these uh, conscripts can interrupt it. Meanwhile, this flamethrower is just going ham. Vet one now forcing away two cons or Grenadiers with the same with the same combat engineer. As PFC saves his uh, fuel there. PFC walking into the machine and just pulls back, sets up another sandbag. Then he's going to try again to see if the MG has moved, which it hasn't. Um, no Molotovs either, so he can't uh, use the fact. So the MG is going to uh, remain on the fuel, it looks like. We do have a 2 to 2 coming out. Meanwhile, no further attacking from PFC so far. Sector. 
Mm, we have some mines here. This grenadier, if he doesn't retreat after walking on this first one. Oh, is he going to dodge it? That's unfortunate. I think from Marcel, honestly, because he's gonna hit that eventually. Still no sweep around. And something worse can walk on this than 60 manpower. For sure. Tier 3 is currently coming up for PFC and probably looking for that T70 within, within half a minute. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. Meanwhile, 2-2 two two just parking outside of the base. To make sure bleed happens. Enemy forces are attempting to capture our territory. There you go, tier 3 is up. It's not going to reinforce this squad, uh, because you know, you want your T7 timing. Oh, is he gonna dodge both mines? Wow. One here as well. Yeah, Marcel just captured the entire map here. Whew, Dust just passed that one. Could be a wipe. No, I think the retreat path goes through here, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't think that's on the retreat path from the fuel, but I could be wrong. Light tank ready for orders. Replacements have arrived. We do have a sweep route for PFC though, so uh, he's of course going to uh, trail it with the T70. Not that I think we've seen any tellers though. I know this uh, railroad is a very common teller spot because it's quite hard to, to see even with the uh, with the sweeper. Speaking of that, the retreat path from the fuel went over that mine, but should be safe in the second one. We have Marcel here chipping in that he knew he had mines there. Interesting, because those were some quite close locations there. Finally, the fourth grenadier is coming in here. Uh, of course, losing that pioneer in the early game kind of forced him to delay that a bit, but he does have his four, gr four grenadiers, machine gun, and pack out now, so. This is going to be his uh, highest power spike for quite some time. And there is a teller here. Right there. If this gets forced retreated, that could be bad, potentially. Should probably try to uh, soft retreat this direction, just to uh, get away from this area. But it did bring up the sweeper, and there we go, I predicted it. Even drops the LMG for the conscripts, to uh, stray further salt in the wounds. We see T7 here actually taking some uh, quite heavy damage. I think it has a bit more than 160 HP left, so I don't think it was one shot away from dying. And you can't really get attack rounds across this angle anyway because of this garrison. But yeah, the grenadier is rebuilt. Grand's playing quite a lot here, actually. T7 is ready to go. 
But I feel like PFC needs to be a bit more aggressive here. He is quite far behind on resources. He didn't hold the map for a very long time and uh, he also went for a T70, so... If he's saving for an 85 though, I guess he could just go uh, max him into Siskan. I wouldn't hate that, personally. Yeah, Siskan connects once with the 2-2 two to two here. This LMG conscript just being quite painful. Nice to try to pin the, the Grenadier here. Of course, backs off once the pack is revealed. Maxim is the choice for PFC, so probably Maxim into Siskan then. This Grenadier could actually go down here. The retreat path from before this angle or before this fence is destroyed is through the center, so T7 it could definitely have followed there and tried to capitalize on that. Yeah, PFC is now grabbing the right side. Should try to get a sandbag up here as well. That's one of the main benefits of having conscripts, of course. Uh, no infantry team uh, team kills so far. I think it was the T70, probably. That's a bit hard to tell. Uh, they have uh, similar looking uh, shells in this game. Combat Engineer, second one coming out, uh, so might not opt for a second Mac or Siskan. I would definitely though, it's quite risky here because that Panzer IV is uh, less than half a minute away. Uh, he just needs to build the structure, which he has, never mind. So Panzer IV is clickable in a couple seconds. By the way, second engineer. Did they lose his sweeper? I think he did. Oh, and this pioneer is probably going down here. Unless he fears a teller. He might fear a teller, to be honest. I would too in that situation. Nice use of 2 to 2 here, removing the sandbags. There's nice scatter from the Siskan, making sure uh, Marcel keeping his uh, MG on the field instead of hard retreating there. He's just defending across the entire map currently. T7, they can't really get that much use out. Not as much as the 2 to 2 at least. I feel like the, the pep gun is everywhere, but Siskan can't ca quite keep up with the 2 to 2. T7 he has to be careful too, he hasn't swept this area for quite some time. There is of course that risk of uh, tellers still. MG easily repositions, very nice. Still no Panzer IV by the way, I'm not sure... Oh wait, he hadn't built that, never mind. At this point you might as well go for... wait, he doesn't... never mind. I thought he had a Panzer IV J commander, but he doesn't actually. Um, so yeah, Panzer IV is heavily delayed here for pretty much no reason, I think. Two minutes, approximately. 
Um, which means PFC could potentially just straight go tech here. 85 isn't that far away, but he does go for the second CS, which is what I probably would say is the best choice. It's at least the safest. Um, this Grenadier is actually in quite some peril here if it takes some damage from the T70, but the pack is in position. Actually connects twice. It's going to force him away for quite some time. Oops, sorry. AT gun is ready for combat. Yeah, Grenadier dodged the uh, the mine there. Panzer IV is out. PFC of course knows about this because of the radio intercept. So there is no way for him to get surprised. This conscript could be in danger here. Depending on how well the Panzer IV rolls. And Pack or Siskan misses the 2 to 2, unfortunately. Would have been there dead there otherwise. This Marcel is attacking the, the far west. Panzer 4 connects once, gets the snare in as well in front of the SIS gun. Almost. Slightly outside, but we have a huge army of Soviets here. This Panzer 4 isn't that well protected. PFC looking to try to cap uh, capitalize on this Grenadier is almost going down. T70 is going for it. He isn't expecting any safe tellers and another LMG drop. Panzer IV does reach safety behind this huge uh, shot blocker. But that's another Grenadier, that's the third, uh, third unit loss there from Marcel. Oh, and this 2 to 2 could go down here. It's one more, he gets it. And I'm not sure what this Panzer IV is thinking. Looks like a very risky position here when there is 280 guns. But it might also be bait here, but I don't think it is, because Marcel doesn't really have that much of a fighting force. He rebuilt the Grenadier, which I totally agree with, but... Still going to take some time to... Uh, to get that army value up. Can uh, double equip LMGs though, that's quite nice. Meanwhile, well, CIS guns are uh, back in base, reinforcing and healing. T-70 poking about. Once again, I don't think he has swept this area. He has a sweeper up there, but... Second Panzer IV is uh, in the build. Currently no medium so far from PFC. Probably looking for the 85. IS-2 is however not that far away actually. About two minutes with current fuel income. And oh this Panzer IV is about to get a fucking awakening. We do see one attacker on the attempt. Oh! T-70 almost flew a tiny bit too close to the sun there. And this single conscript just... Eating Grenadiers for breakfast. Still no 7 man on them by the way. I mean he did just get tier 4 but he should really just get this up as soon as possible. But yeah we do have a potential IS-2 here. About two minutes, uh, minutes away f in terms of manpower. 
second Panzer IV is revealing itself now, however. Marcel is almost ready to go here. PFC not putting an 85 in the queue yet, so might see an IS2 here. Still no 7 man either, but I will expect that as soon as he stops with his tunnel vision. I don't think he's saving for the planes, he could do both, so no reason to do that. Yeah, assist gun in position, very nice. Second Panzer IV moving in, but second assist gun in position as well. So that's not going to be a option here for Mr. Marshall. And PFC just holding together really well here without any any proper vehicles. IS2 is just around the corner right now. I mean, Marcel already kind of have the counter though with the, the frag bombs in this doctrine, so it's not too bad. That's quite a huge sis barrage, taking out half HP of both the squads there. It's going to be forcing them away here. Here we go though, the IS-2 is on the field, he also has the planes ready. So uh, PFC got quite the power spike right now. See if he can make use of this IS-2. I do expect uh, Marcel to instantly QI pack as soon as he as the uh, IS-2 is revealed here though. Yeah, I could just be crushing this down. Missed this unfortunately. Could be using planes here and just going in, but... Might be fearing... Uh, tellers. Once again. IS-2 does get stunned here by the target weak point from the pack gun. Yeah, I could just keep poking to be honest. I'm not sure what that attack runner was for. He maybe he was expecting the pack to still be there. Second pack is out from Marcel. PFC using T70 to capture, very nice. Very close to this mine right here. Ah, he's two running around. These guards could be in trouble here. I used to just needs one good hit and I could go down. There you go. Gets one good hit. Will most likely be finished off here. Yes indeed. Oof, this low grenadier can also actually go go down here potentially. This is usually the wing condition here for Soviets, just grinding down the Austria's forces. Imagine oof, an attack round through here would just eliminate both pioneers. Of course he's not aware about it, but Ooh, packs in a very strong position here. No safe zone for that IS-2. So we have the, the Grenadier instantly rebuilt here from uh, Marcel. Seems he's saving up for that Tiger himself. And taking a look at his teching. He does not have tier 3 yet, which he will need before he can get the Tiger. But it is for sure an option. 
sure what that Panzer IV was thinking there though. That's basically just free veterans right there. Oh, what? That connects? He needs one more. Whew. Maxim is covering that angle. Somehow. Mm. Not sure if I agree that uh, now it's in, but when the model was here, I'm not sure I would agree. Our territory is falling into enemy hands. I think a Katusha here would be very nice from Mars uh, from PFC. I think it fits very nice here, especially with the T70 still alive. You can use the recon and then uh, Katusha. Oh, and Panzer IV living extremely dangerously there. Attacker on the attempt going through, but misses, unfortunately. Look at that position. This Panzer IV is basically just a bait for the pack guns. You know, we can just target weak point and then just fire a salvo together with maybe frag bombs here. That is uh, possible. Not a huge fan of how far up the front line Marcel likes to repair. You never know if your opponent has vision over you or not with the T70 recon mode, for instance. Yeah, double bounce there from the packs. And here we go, skill planes coming in. And it looks like PFC is just about to charge everything he has here. A lot of stuff going in, this is what we like to see. Oh, combat engineer is almost going down. Panzer 4 in trouble though. I is to about to finish him off, yes indeed. There we go, the frag bombs are in center. Barely dodged there by PFC, well played to him. Hard to notice that in amidst all the chaos, you know. once again and what happened here honestly what the hell happened here huh not entirely sure did the IS2 shot miss and land here There's two dead models. Never mind, I was uh, wrong. Very curious. I have no clue what happened here. I am very tempted to watch the replay again and check that out. Well, yeah, PFC got his sandbags up. Trying to fortify here before the the storm of the Germans comes back. I mean, the planes are almost back again this thing, this time of the hour, though. So that is an option. IS-2 fully repaired as well. Panzer for bouncing, of course. Pack guns in position. Gets a rare hit there. And then he bounces twice. But yeah, Tiger's out. For Marcel, so uh, this is almost like the old meta. Oh, Grenadier is going very low there. Will they go down? The Katusha steals the kill from the conscripts and almost deletes the pack wall here as well with that scatter. The pack trying to take out the T7, it does finally go down anyway. One of the Sis guns connects. 
second pack, about to go down as well, Panzer 4 fully repaired. We see second planes coming in. I bet Marcel isn't happy about that. Ooh, that IS-2 shot though. IS-2 just slamming all the infantry currently. Removes the, the pack, so Marcel can't get that back. Oh, and what is this tiger about to do? No, don't do it! No! Tiger goes down, and Marcel calls the game! Great game, though. I is to... Staying supreme, let me just leave here so I can get rid of the sound bug. But yeah, great game there actually, I enjoy that one. Bit of a slower paced game, but you know, it's always enjoyable as well. And especially with units you don't see that very often, such as the IS-2. I am tempted, I, I, I think I will, I'm just gonna zoom past. I think it happened around 27, minute 27. I want to see what happened in Marcel's base there. I think the IS-2 overshot and hit the base bunker. Killing some grenadiers. I think that's what happened. But I can't be too sure. Uh, but yeah, here you have the stats. So you can see it's the usual Soviet KD, but uh, you know, some of these stats you, you can't really see here because there's so many wipes here, right? I think Marcel lost like three or four grenadiers this match.